they are in their boxes. We have Felicity Merriman, Kristen Larson, Addie Walker, Samantha Parkington, and Molly McIntyre. So as you can see here, I did not get the 35th anniversary version of Josefina. At first, I thought I was going to, but when I went to the store, I realized that the version of Josefina, so I have, because I get dolls really cheap, I had a $20 Pleasant Company Josefina that I had that was like original Pleasant Company. And then I recently was able to, with my reward points and military discount and everything, get a Be Forever Josefina for like less than $50. And honestly, the new Josefina just wasn't distinct enough. They used the same like Be Forever Rebozo, which was a main deal breaker kind of for me. And the skirt seemed like it was, they had printed the pattern of the old one, but with the sewing and like makeup of the Be Forever version and the doll herself just looked way too similar to Be Forever. So I could not justify spending $150 when she really looks like the Be Forever one I just bought. Now, if you're making the choice between the 35th anniversary Josefina and the Be Forever one, I definitely think 35th one is the better version of her. But I just, as someone who already had the Be Forever, it just didn't make sense for me to purchase her. As you can see, I did choose to get Felicity Merriman. I only have one Felicity. I did not get her when she went to be forever. And even if I did, I still would have wanted this version. Here you can see she has the classic side curls. I don't know what you actually call them, but the side curls. And then here, American Girl actually brought back her original eyes. So these are the pinwheel eyes. So I just think that's really pretty. And as you can see in there, I haven't taken her out of the box, but you can see she has the rose garden dress. So I'm going to pop her out and take a closer look. Here I have her lid off. So you see she has her original Pleasant Company neat book. It's a really nice detail that they actually went back and they have this book. It's got her rose garden dress on it. And yeah, it's pretty good. All right. And then here we have her accessories. They're tucked in, for anybody wondering, they're tucked in on most of them, either taped to the side from what I can tell, or they're gonna be under the book. So here for Felicity, she has her necklace. I actually never had her full accessories. So this is pretty exciting. I didn't have them for most of it all. So here's her original, I think it's original, beaded necklace. And there's her little bag and her garters. And I bet her little coin is in there. I'll take them out later. Here is her hat. I don't know that it's actually called a hat, but... And they made a new little pamphlet. They've been coming back to these, which has made me super happy. Yeah, this showing all of them, including how they kind of put an owl and originally developed them. So here are, they are. So that's that. And now we will get on to Felicity herself. She's so pretty. It's almost hard to take her out of the box, but I do not believe in keeping the dolls in the box. I do believe in keeping original hairstyles if possible. And sometimes I don't like to remove their shoes and socks because I like to keep them in as close to the original condition as possible while not keeping them trapped, tied up in a box. But yeah, so here she is. Time period accurate. There's no underwear. She has her stockings, the penny loafers, I think how they were called basically. She has her original shoes, which is nice. I think the material for the dress is a little thinner than the original, 
but I think they did, they might have used the same material. I will be making videos comparing the new versions with some of the original when I have access to the original, like what I have access to I'll compare, but it's pretty similar. All right, so I'm going to come right back after I take her out. Felicity is free. Here she is completely unboxed. So let's see, first of all, these are either an amazing recreation of the original eyes or they're like actually the original eyes. I mean, these are definitely the pinwheel green. I think they're just as vibrant as the original and the um, American Girl version, but we will see in the comparison video. Here's her dress. I think it's a little different too, but I don't mind. Hey, then I don't have two of the exact same thing. There's her shift and her stockings and her shoes. And here's her little ringlet curls. They're so cute. Mine, um, my original Felicity, I got her used and I'm pretty certain she was less than $50, but um, she was used so all of her curls have been brushed out like completely. So it's really awesome to have Felicity who has her hair all nice and original. I'm never taking it out of this ponytail, I don't think. So she's so pretty. I don't know if her hair is as vibrant as the other ones again I will have to do a comparison but Felicity is pretty stinking adorable I definitely recommend they they did Felicity was the one I knew from the get-go that I was going to have to purchase because they did such an amazing job recreating her and her stuff like sorry those were the scissors in the picture so yeah Felicity is awesome now it's time for Kirsten. Here is Kirsten Larson. She's so cute. I can, it's been so long since I've seen a Kirsten all nice and in the braids and everything. It has been over a decade since 2009 that people could buy a Kirsten new, like in stores or online except for like eBay and used sites. So this is very exciting, super momentous. Let's see if I can get her out. All right, here she is. Here is her book. Again, like with Felicity, super great condition. Here's her accessory. So Kirsten is, um, Kirsten and Samantha are the only ones I had all of their accessories, I think. We'll see when I open Samantha, but yeah. So the I, I can say these look like completely like authentic recreations. I mean, I don't know that I could tell these apart from my original ones. And then there's a the little booklet. I still love that image. I wish American Girl had kept it, but all right. I see her bonnet. I've heard some people say they think it is poofier, so I'll have to look at that in the comparison video. So here is Kirsten's bonnet. And here is Kirsten. Oh, her braids are so cute. I've always wondered how they get them like that, because I haven't been able to recreate that look with my Kirsten since I took it out of the braids as a foolish 10-year-old who thought that I can fix the hair that's sticking out and rebraid it. I could not rebraid it. All right, so pretty pretty good recreation again. Like I think um, I think the dress is thinner than the original, but I think that in general is how American Girl kind of does things now. So this kind of material, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh! All right. I'm going to be right back, and by then I should have Kirsten out. And I got Kirsten out, and I'll say I don't have nearly as much to comment on for her as Felicity, partially because um, Kirsten's the only ones out of the original 
sick. She actually is the only doll that was released um, before Julian Ivy that I got new, I think. I got, actually, I got her new and I got Nellie new. And I have two Emily, so one of them is new. But in terms of like the historical dolls, um, Kirsten's the only one from before Julie, whom I purchased new. So honestly, they, they did a good job making her stuff look like Kirsten's stuff. Like, it, it's super authentic. I noticed that even in the store, which really impressed me. And one thing that also impressed me is the fact that her face seems a little wider than the one I have. And she looks more like a little girl. Like she doesn't have like flushed cheeks or kind of a darker lip pattern, which American Girl is more into having nowadays. So she looks more like the original Kirsten, I think, than mine does. And I bought mine in 2009. So that tells you a lot about how much work American Girl put into this 35th anniversary doll. So I don't really have anything to say other than that about her. She's so cute and these braids are never coming out if I can help it. Here is Addie Walker. She's so cute. She's another one. Um, I had like the original Pleasant Company and her condition isn't as good as some of the other ones. I then again I only paid like 30 to 40 bucks for her so Beggars and choosers, you know. So, it's very exciting to get to look at a new Addy and kind of compare and just have another one where I feel like I'm actually getting some added value. I'm not just getting a newer Addy to use in videos. Here's Addy. Here's her book and her accessories. And she actually came with, um, a couple pamphlets, which I thought was interesting. I skipped over showing her in the box because I figured at this point you've seen me open two dolls already, so I'll just get to the point. It's really interesting. Addie has a hairnet on under her hat. I guess they didn't want her hat to be crushed to the extent that they even had a piece of plastic um, tucked like this deep in there so the hat would not lose shape, which was a nice detail. Addie's so pretty. Speaking of beautiful, here is probably the most iconic doll, um, Samantha Parkington. She was the first one to get a movie, the first one to get a friend, the first one to be unjustly retired, the first one to be brought back as a bee forever, and now here she is, back in her original amazing form. So let's get her out of the box already. I can tell. So I have um, I have a Pleasant Company Samantha, who was actually the second doll I ever got. And um, I have a Be Forever one I saved up for when she came out. So in my comparison video for Samantha, I can really highlight like, because it'll be three different versions, it'll be interesting to compare all of them. Here she is. Here are her accessories. And I don't know, I know mine doesn't have the extra fringe down here around it, but I don't know if that's a new edition or if that's from Pleasant Company or what. Here we have Samantha's clip-on locket, her money and her handkerchief and her little bag. Here she is now. Her hair is going to be staying in the hairnet. I didn't plan on this, but American Girl tied, I know why they did it, but they tied her bow, her ribbon, over the hairnet. So to take her hairnet out, I think I would have to, unless I pull out here and then it just be dangling, I would have to untie her hair, which I really don't want to do. So I might have it out for the comparison video, but for now, I'm going to leave it in. So she definitely, she has a skinnier face mold than the Pleasant Company, 
but she is not, she doesn't have the blush and like the almost lipstick-ish coloring on the lips that the Be Forever one has. So I'm not sure if she exactly resembles the one, the version of Samantha that came out that Mattel had, or if she is closer to the Pleasant Company. But I like that I don't think she looks like my other dolls. Her dress, like the other dolls I've noted, it's thinner than the original. It's kind of like her original, like her red Christmas dress and her cranberry dress. That kind of fabric, it kind of crinkles a little, so that's interesting. They still have the sleeve Velcro. And here we got her bloomers and her shoes and her tights. And we worn the dress, as you can see, it does rumple easily. Gray and Mary would be very displeased with me for wrinkling the dress. All right, yeah, so there, is, there isn't really much for me to say here. She's adorable. I'm so happy I got her. I The Be Forever Samantha was my only new Samantha, so it's nice to have like an older one with all of the accessories. Finally, we have the last doll. Well, the last one I got, and that is obviously Molly. Here is Molly. Her face looks a little like the Bee Forever in um, the style and coloring, but she has the hair of, at the very least, the Mattel version of Molly. And so, you, you can't necessarily tell in the picture. Um, her argyle sweater is definitely knit. Like, it, it's nice and thick. It's form-fitting. It's awesome. Her skirt is thicker than I thought it would be. It's, I don't think it's as thick as the original, but it's still really thick. Like, as of right now, I think they did the best job on Molly's outfit. I, I've heard some people say, and I'll check um when I do my comparison video some people say the pattern is smaller but even accepting that I mean so they've got her braids her original ribbon and everything they went back to this style of bang for the be forever one they had it like up in the front like more like on Melody or Mary Ellen but here, Molly has the original. They have the gray eyes, which they haven't done gray eyes in ages, really. So, that's super cool. They have the shoes. I mean, Molly, they, they just knocked it out of the park. We got her accessories over here. Her glasses are in their case. And she has her penny and her locket. I never had the locket. I always wanted that. But it was too expensive on eBay. So... This is so exciting. I'm so glad I have her. Oh, she's so cute. All right. So I definitely recommend really any of the five that I looked at. Even Josefina, even though I didn't get her, I think she is super cute. I prefer her to the Be Forever version. And honestly, if you choose to get any of them, the, the, these are great. They're, they're even great deals. I mean, it's $150, but you get the doll and the book and their accessories. So, that's, that's a pretty good deal. That's way cheaper than you'd be able to get the dolls on eBay for all of this stuff. So, I'm, I'm really glad that American Girl brought them back. And here is to hoping they stick around and American Girl chooses to re-release some of the other ones. Comment down below which doll you like the best. Are you getting any of them? Which one do you want to get? Who do you want to see American Girl bring back? What do you want to see them bring back? Should the doll stick around? Just whatever you're thinking, I want to hear because I'm really excited to know what everyone thinks of the new releases.